I've been working at Scripps and Salinas Hospital for the entirety of my medical career. I started there, um, I've, I've worked there for eight years. Um, during that time, I've served in capacity as Chief of Obstetrics and Gynecology. I've been Vice Chair of Obstetrics and Gynecology. Um, I've sat on the Medical Executive Council. I started an ethics committee when the hospital um, did not have one. Um, and uh, I've worked exclusively at that hospital. And during that time, I became extremely loyal to the hospital, developed an extremely busy obstetrics and gynecology practice. And in the last two to three years, I've had some uh, differences in agreement with some of the powers that be. And uh, that led to uh, the chief of staff, at one point, suspending me on May 7, 2010 and uh, he susp suspended my obstetrics privileges only. <clears throat> and uh, I myself didn't know the reasons for five days. I can't discuss at this point the specifics of his decision. Um, what I can tell you is that the Medical Executive Council as a whole eventually met as they were required to do and together they decided that the suspension was not warranted. Um, and they gave me full privileges back. Um, this didn't happen out, out of a deal. <clears throat> I didn't have some prearranged plan. This was not done to get out of any issues with the hospital. Um, it was done because they couldn't legitimize what Dr. McCormick had done. By that point, it became clear to me that this was a very, very hostile place, not just for me, but for my patients. And I knew that I just could not deliver the care that my patients deserved and that I myself needed to provide for these women who have trusted me. Well, I feel like this whole experience has given me a chance to show the world who I am. Um, if anybody doubted that I don't believe in natural birth, if anybody doubted that I was doing this for money, um, I got a chance to prove otherwise. I mean, I, I, it's not right to have the birth of a child be a political gain. I guess I should tell you that, that I am board certified, that I've been board certified from the first year that I was able. I've been continuously board certified. I've not had um, a malpractice case decided against me. I have not had an OB malpractice case and um, that these events weren't surrounding malpractice. I think Scripps underestimated what a group of committed individuals would do. Mm -hmm. um, I think that they thought that they could destroy me quietly in the middle of the night mm -hmm. with a 455 call on a Friday afternoon to tell me that my OB privileges were suspended mm -hmm. and instead they had hundreds of women protesting that hospital yeah. and they had thousands of people signing a petition. I was reinstated on Thursday and I did not resign until late Friday afternoon. Okay. Um, it was, uh, before I did that, I made sure that my patients had a doctor to go to. Scripps was my home. I, I kind of grew up there. It was my first job out of residency. Um, it's still painful to know how different that place is compared to what I knew, compared to my hopes for that hospital. Um, so my leaving um, was difficult. One, I know that one of the things that was said was that they had all these natural births at the hospital after I had left. And uh, they don't even know the difference between natural birth and a vaginal birth. They think that just because a baby is born out of the vagina, that that's a natural birth. Um, but a natural birth is an unmedicated birth, a birth that is honored where women and their partners are respected and where that little buddy comes into this world in a solemn, sacred moment. That's what a natural birth is. Um, the good news is we now have a chance to build an amazing birthing center um, where um, we can really incorporate all aspects of complementary alternative medicine, where we can have um, truly beautiful, amazing births and, um, and now it's, I'm not stuck to a specific location. I have a much broader range of where that birthing center can be and, uh, and how that facility can be created.